And without uh, further ado, we check on two devices. Coach uh, getting some H2O. <laughs> Aqua. 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 Uh, last week there wasn't so much flashlights. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, coach. <laughs> 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 on that lighter note, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Kevin, please uh, give us your impressions of the game, what you saw. Congratulations. Uh, Duba scoring his first uh, goal for Kaiser Chiefs in the first team. Ah, good evening, uh, lady. I see there's only one lady here. Gentlemen, uh, what a game of football. I thought uh, we played very well in the first half and we get a goal from a 19-year-old from a year old that has been knocking on the door for a while now. And like I said before, we have 30 players in our team and all 30 players should be capable of starting the game. But uh, in saying that, uh, we have a good half, first half, I thought we could have put, we had more, another chance or two, and then we come out in the second half, we still dominate, but uh, we allow Golden Arrows to, to get back in the game, somewhere along the line, and they threaten us, I don't think they had real clear, clear chances, I, I must look at it, because, you know, when the op we knew the opposite, opposite coach, you just want the ball away from your net. So when I see that's not in the net, then I don't look how they missed chances. But I do think they had a better part of the ball in the second half and uh, we should have done better. I thought we should have done better to push for the second goal and that would have taken the rhythm out of, out of Golden Arrows, but not to be. But at the same time, we are also happy that we have our eighth clean sheet and uh, we score a goal and uh, we we back back on track but we gained three points and uh, whereas last week we lost two points so we, we're okay and uh, we just plod on again and fight for the next for the next game thank you coach uh, Mike will <coughs> start rolling and we time 10 minutes we close No takers, it's a good one. No, it's fine. Close it. <laughs> Did you take a valley? I know. This is a woman. I'm not sure. A coach here in Zephyr Midesky. Thanks. You just touched on Duba, um, 19 years old, first start, uh, first goal. Um, we saw last week already when he came on, he just has confidence, his first touch. He looks assured on the ball. Um, and obviously, with that finish, he has some ability. So, what's taken him so long to? get into the starting 11 and you've given a lot of young players breakthroughs. Do you think he, he's, he's got a big future in the game? Look, to, to judge him on one game will be premature, mm -hmm. but to judge him on the training sessions and the mentality and the attitude he's had at training, then uh, he probably has a long way to go with Kaiser Chiefs and uh, he just has to keep on cutting the cloths and he'll get some, he won't get some. And if he stays humble, then I think he'll be a good striker. Coach, mm -hmm. uh, earlier from the CBC again, uh, congratulations on the win. And as you say, um, that you're not happy with maybe the second half performance, uh, the players, when they've got the ball, they don't look assured. They, it's not what you want to see, um, especially the Chiefs team that is playing the ball. Uh, being dominant and you know forcing the opponent, um, what 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 do you think is is, is missing there? Well, like I said, <clears throat> we played a lot better in the first half. We were holding the ball a lot, and uh, yeah, it was only the second half where we where we really didn't win the ball and control the ball. Uh, we always try and win the ball back from the opponent. And uh, if we have the ball, they can't score. So we try and do that and sometimes football doesn't allow you to do that because the opponent is just a little bit cleverer than you in certain 
positions on the pitch. And uh, like I said, in patches, we didn't do that. We have to do it more like we did it in the first half, whereby we really, really held the ball and we didn't lose it. And even when we did lose it, the, the player that lost it didn't necessarily win it back. It was another player who win it, won it back. So that gives the whole team confidence. And uh, for sure, Vela, you and I, we know I'm going to work on that. We're going to get it right. Uh, <coughs> the win coach, um, Chavos from Far Post. Um, coach, um, you've, you've, you've used the Zita quite a lot um, in recent games, uh, drive back. Um, what's the thinking behind uh, using him as opposed to, let's say, Dylan Solomons and Henry Frosler? We didn't see Riff today. Um, also, if you can just share uh, what's happening to him. There's nothing wrong with Reef, uh, and and uh, there's nothing wrong with Dylan. But uh, Zita's always given me the backup, even though he's a centre back, and you probably know that. Uh, he gives me a backup as right back as well, and we sometimes you got to play with play with God, eh? play him at right back, and he does a job for you. And you, you, he doesn't do a bad job, you bring him back again. Uh, yeah, Reef was, I think Reef had a, a slight knock, not really something to take him out, but we, 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 we put caution to the wind as far as that position is concerned. And the last, game, last two games, Zita has done very well. We haven't had any major, major crosses from the right. We haven't had any major, major player that's able to skin uh, Zita. So he's done the job that uh, a right back has to do. So we'll see in the future. Maybe he'll go back to his position as centre back. But we call them he's a 4x2 or 2x4. 2 by 2 4x4. Two, two two, he's a 2x2. Two two. He can play centre and he can play right. Before we invite many hands or close with the last two, you still have a chunk of the coach on Thursday in other press conferences. Another one? How? Gentlemen, you're different, you're 24. Coach, what would you like the swing to do in terms of driving the team going forward? I mean, there's a not so small game on Saturday, but also looking at the bigger scheme of things in terms of the season and where the players at in terms of confidence, looking at the, how the team has started the year and the scrutiny they fall under whenever things don't go well? Yeah, look, uh, the biggest thing is when you work and when you play at Kaiser Chiefs, the, the, the biggest problem is that you have to be at the top of yourself all the time. You have to play at a certain level all the time. You don't have time to give 80% in this team. You have to play at 100%. And that is why, I mean, when you look at the league competition itself, we have not conceded in eight goals, in eight games. And that is a little bit, as technicians of this team, that is only a little bit of relief for us. Goalkeepers must save. Defenders must defend. Strikers must score goals. And that's how it is in football, the plain simple part. But when you play for Kaiser Chiefs, it's got to work both ways. If I defend, you must score. I don't know, there was once upon a time a saying that says, if you don't know what to do, do with the ball, give it to somebody. And that's how you get goals. If you don't know what to do with the ball, give it to Ashley, he'll score the ball. Give it to uh, one dealer. So that is what, I, I think you asked something about the game on Saturday? Oh, like we, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that first part. Like I say, uh, for us, drawing is a loss, so it keeps us back. And the only thing that's going to change to make us think better and to make us work even harder is a victory. And when you have this victory at Kaiser Chiefs, then you can build. And uh, that's how we believe within our club that we build. We only build with winners. We don't build with losers. Coach, a message uh, on the loss of Mkonza uh, Spiwe, Dr. Mandi, as we close. On behalf of the football fraternity, 
on behalf of KZ Chiefs, on behalf of the chairman himself, we'd like to send our condolences to the Mkonza family. Uh, may his soul rest in peace and uh, may it rise in glory, in glory one day when I'm in heaven. Thank you. Within touching distance of Champions League sport, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you for our home game next time here, the uh, 2nd of uh, April against Kalambosh. But we'll see you in other press conferences for other matches. Thank you. Uh, travel safe. Um, <coughs>